those those eight those seven games that I didn't play and those uh you know the exhibition and then just even sometime I think on campus when we had the black and white scrimmage I think I really didn't get to play you know as much because you knew you know the guys that were go going into the season so all those times you know I was I was upset of course they were cheering on because I have four years like I said but you know you you know I was kind of you know looking at the other freshmen that were getting opportunity to play I felt like I was doing well but you know I didn't get an opportunity to play so once South Carolina came and they told me um the day before like tomorrow you know get ready you know I think I, I think it was Leland somebody had to sprain their ankle or some, something happened with someone tweaked the ankle and said we're going to give you an opportunity and I remember saying I've been waiting for this opportunity so I knew this would be my only chance you know in my mind I don't know if the rules were like this but it was like if that game I didn't play it kind of felt like the rest of that whole freshman year would have been done I don't know if that was the you know deciding game of if I didn't play I was going to be redshirted or not but I said, you know, there's nothing I can get back. I'm getting an opportunity to play. Just go out there and play as hard as I can. Let them know all these practices. Now you get to show people on TV. My grandmother was at the game. It was just something that, you know, I just was like, this is my opportunity. And I, I took full advantage of it. And I explained to kids now, it's like, you know, you never know when that you're going to get that opportunity. But first impression, uh, you know, I want to leave a mark. And hopefully I was able to stay for the rest of the year, and, and which – did happen for me. If people don't remember, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys do, or some people do remember that freshman year when I played against Omeka Okafor, you know, at UConn, you know, he blocked my shot, I want to say like five or six times that game. So, you know, ever since that first game, I will, you know, we both were freshmen at the time and I was, I was upset, you know, that I couldn't, you know, I was, I was do well against Marcus in practice. He was a great shot blocker. It was a prep before I played against Okafor. Um, and I just didn't play well, and he blocked my shot so many times. So that really, you know, that really stuck with me that whole summer. So I was ready when we played him that sophomore year to make sure he wouldn't block any of my shots. And I don't think he blocked any more shots from that freshman year when I when he did that sophomore junior. Uh, the, the next four times I played against him. So that game at Gamble, I was we were out to, to prove something uh, to them. And it was on campus and we wanted to really have a, you know, really good game. And like you said, Marcus did a great job. He, he blocked shots. I was able to score some baskets close around the rim and not let open for, you know, alter or hinder any of those. So that was my, uh, my motivation going into that game.